So this was a really an exceptional uh, moment, an exceptional recognition uh, by the Undersecretary. And this award uh, goes to, to all of you, to all our members, uh, for all the hard work that, that everyone has been uh, doing over the, the many years. Now, uh, before we go to our closing, we have uh, two, small, two small things to do. Uh, one, we have uh, um, a second a new member flash from our new member in World Trade Center, King Dao, who sent us a video message. So please stay tuned. We'll launch a brief video message from our new members in uh, King Dao. group, also as the main contact person of World Trade Center Qingdao. It's very happy to have the opportunity to give a brief introduction about us. On November 6, 2020, the Global Council of World Trade Center Association officially approved the license of WTC Qingdao issued. We, Qingdao Kenyu Holdings Group, as a sole legally authorized holder, was glad to be one of the uh, um, city members of the global platform and provide relative services to enhance the linkages between Qingdao City and the world. Qingdao, uh, as one of the main nodes of the new Eurasian Continental Bridge Economic Corridor and the payweight of maritime cooperation strategy, and the Build and the Road uh, Initiative. Qingdao Kenyu Holdings Group was born out of Qingdao Wellspring Development Group, which is a vertical integrated China local real estate development company with comprehensive expertise in all aspects of the industry, from finance, set acquisition, and design to uh, construction marketing and property management. For now, although the uh, physical space of WTC Qingdao still not launched, we have set up an international operation team with overseas experience background. Um, but we are here the mission and explore some directions and topics for the development such as promote international business and trade cooperation and the Build and Road Initiative um, and help Qingdao City expand its international marketing channels and enhance its global influence, assist local government and uh, enterprises to enhance resources and capabilities in global vision deepen cooperation with other global economic organizations. We do hope to have more communication with other city members and explore the further relationships in global trade services. At last, if you are interested in anything of Qingdao or about us, please feel free to contact us via WTC Qingdao official website. Mm, so, welcome to Qingdao. Thank you. So, that was our message from our new member in Qingdao. Now, before passing it on to our chairman, John Drew, uh, for his closing remarks, um, I do like to recognize the World Trade Center that signed on the most uh, B2B business partners for the member forum. We did mention that we would uh, call out uh, the, the World Trade Center that signed on the most B2B uh, business partners. So the winner is World Trade Center Shenyang. So congratulations, Shenyang, uh, Christina, and your team. Uh, you will be receiving uh, an official certificate of uh, accomplishment from us. So congratulations to the Shenyang team for signing on many, many uh, B2B business partners to the platform. So. With that, I would like to welcome back our chairman, John Drew, for his uh, closing remarks. And uh, John, I look forward to your take uh, on the past three days. Well, let me, <laughs> that's a great place to open because quite frankly, the past three days have been sensational. Um, the, the comments that the, that, that the members have made, the questions they've asked um, of the speakers, I think it shows how engaged the membership is just in these last three days. You know, we've had, uh, 585 uh, individuals participating, 
263 of those individuals are business to business relationship, B2B relationships and 117 trade centers uh, are participating as well. So that means that we have 300 of our, mem of our actual members participating along with the B2B group. So um, participation is the best it's ever been. And uh, I guess it's one of the positives coming out of these past couple of years with the pandemic that we're able to meet like this and participate like this. But again, I have to point out, Robin, I wanna thank you and your team, Crystal and Chanel. Uh, this is, I think, quality production. I think the, uh, the, way, it, the way it ran uh, and how quickly it moved along left us all hoping that there was a little more time almost in each se session so we could talk a little further with the people making the presentations, which I think is a great way to run a meeting. I think when you run a meeting like that, and people feel that there was more they could have done, more they could have asked, then it'll help bring, bring us back uh, together, I think, in a stronger and better way. So uh, it, was, it, was, it was great. Um, and I must say the B2B session is extremely important for us and the participation of these business members is extremely important. It's a way we wanna strengthen our individual trade centers. So I think I'll ask all of our members to take the message from this meeting and think about what they can do at the next meeting where possibly they can invite more and we can build up our B2B relationships uh, with one another in a strong way, especially starting off just what we ended with in the past few minutes, which was you know, working with the US Commercial Service. And uh, we, we have other relationships around the globe that where we work more, where we work closely with other governmental agencies. But again, this just strengthens our hand to do more. And I know many of our members, uh, especially in Philadelphia, uh, as Linda has uh, what, ran, I think, that area at one point. Uh, I think in addition to that, she certainly works very closely with them along with, with, with what we do up here in Boston, down in Washington, and Karen and others in the US. So it's a strong, strong play for us. It makes a difference. I think moving just through the last couple of days, uh, Hearing from our new members is, I think, has been wonderful. I mean, it, it, we, 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 you, you basically were spotlighting new members. And, you know, we had Vietnam, we had China, we had India, we had Ukraine, we had Armenia, and uh, I'm probably leaving someone else out. But the fact is, welcoming them into the family, giving them an opportunity to be live with us so we could see them and um, and hear from them, having them do a little commercial about themselves, what they're doing with their projects. You can see, I think, from, from just uh, their enthusiasm, and also you can see from the projects that they're developing, that we are getting to be a stronger family, both on the real estate and trade side. Um, and some of those real estate projects are spectacular projects. They're gigantic. And uh, I think uh, uh, hopefully bode well for where we're going in the future. I think finally, as not they may not have finally, but I have to, again, go back and thank the Mac Cheers um, for the work they put in, uh, along with the headquarters team, in programming these three days. Uh, you know, the sustainability discussion we had on real estate, the, the trade discussions we've had, the futures discussion um, that we just had this morning, I think all equip everybody who's participating with much more knowledge in thoughts about how to, in fact, address these issues of sustainability, climate change. Also look at where the world is moving from the futurist point of view. And then hear from someone who's two people who are definitely in it uh, deeply at the UN and down in Costa Rica about with, what they're doing nationally and what they're doing internationally. Um, and then to get back into the, the depths of UFI and hearing again about the conferencing side. I don't think we missed a beat. Uh, I really don't. Uh, I think. Uh, we touched uh, through your work, Robin, we touched on the areas of business we, uh, and that we're all involved in one way or another. Uh, we created more opportunities to work more closely together. I think, I hope that the business members participating were as impressed with this association as, uh, as, 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 uh, as I am in the ability to pull this off and do it and put businesses together with one another. Uh, and opening up new doors for them to look at other countries that they might participate in, uh, business, bring their business to and participate with. So again, um, from my point of view, I, I, I can't begin to thank all the effort the, to recognize the trade centers that put a great deal of effort in building this program with your team, Robin, your team, and call them out again for the spectacular work um, on doing this. And the, I, I must say, year when you look at the 
meetings you've conducted over the past year, everyone's got a better. So you just you just raise the bench, uh, the basically the the, the the benchmark even higher. But for this association, when people ask, what do you get from this association? If you participate in the past three days, you can answer that question uh, very, very directly. You saw a magazine that the, that Carlos spoke to that's producing hard information about what it is to run a World Trade Center in Latin America and the value of that for the brand. You, you've got all sorts of things. And I, I know I'm leaving out something, but uh, again, um, I, I only leave it out because we had so much to to do you did so much with, with your team and with the and with the max and with the participating uh, members uh there's probably i don't mean to skip over anything but it was great uh, three days and well worth everyone's time and effort so thank you and well, thank all the members yeah well th thank you so much john um for for for, for your, your comments and of course also for your ongoing support, um, you know, um, making these programs happen. So we, we brought a lot of content, uh, a lot of engagement. So I wanted to briefly also recap what we brought, uh, what we brought in the, in the last uh, three days. Yes. Uh, we, we, we spoke about the work of the member advisory councils and uh, the beating heart of our organization. Uh, we introduced a new member onboarding program. Uh, we had new member flash uh, sessions. We launched the WTCA Foundation student competition uh, we had expert conversations on trends in foreign direct investment. Uh, we introduced the WTCA Trade Services Operating Manual, right. three different focused workshops. Uh, we had a social media training workshop. We had Costa Rica's trade minister uh, talk to us about building a sustainable trade environment and focusing on, on people well-being and the importance of that. Uh, we launched the WTCA accreditation program. Right. Uh, we also discussed sustainability and real estate and how this interacts. Uh, we educated about protecting our trademarks and strengthening the brand. Uh, we had a workshop on our digital tools. Uh, we also discussed the cities of the future and Civilization 3.0 this morning. Uh, we welcomed the president of the United Nations Economic and Social Council. Uh, we kicked off the WTCA Champions Award. Uh, we launched the second edition of the WTCA Latin uh, Prime Office Index. Uh, we discussed the state of the exhibition industry. And then last, of course, and not least, we, we gratefully uh, received an award from the U.S. Undersecretary of, of Commerce. So uh, a really incredible program, and I hope you uh, all enjoyed it, that you found it also useful and enriching. And as always, we do appreciate your feedback. So do email us at events at WTCA.org for any comments, any, any feedback. Um, and last, but certainly not least, I would like to call out uh, Crystal Eden, uh, Chanel Kasich and then Nell and Brie of our production yes. partner, Romela, uh, for a big thank you from us all. They have worked uh, relentlessly, not sparing evenings or weekends uh, to make right. sure this program ran as flawlessly as it did. So they were on it 24-7 uh, as they were with all our uh, previous events. So big thank you team. And with that, we conclude our live stream uh, programming for this year. And uh, so please do continue with the B2B matchmaking, which is live for the remainder of the week through Friday. So thank you all again. And next year we're, we're doing this in person. <laughs> Hopefully. Thank you. Bye-bye. Great. Bye now.